Welcome back. <laughs> I thought we were ready to go. We weren't ready to go. Welcome back to Gomi <coughs> XP with Tasis and Artosis. Uh, today we've got some great games. Maru so far kicking a lot of ass. Yep. Destroyed impact. Pretty one-sided. Not really worth watching. Um, yes. Great play by Maru. Impact. Not quite at his level yet. We'll see how he does in the rest of the group. Yes. Um, it is round robin, by the way. Uh, we are doing these matches online. Uh, they are live, but the players are playing from the team house. After uh, Group B here, we will be hosting the rest of the matches uh, live here within the uh, studio we have here in Samsung, the Gangnam area. Uh, it's going to be Flash against Action. If you actually, even if you haven't followed that much StarCraft uh, 2, you should know who Flash is by now. This is the yeah. most legendary Brood War player of all time. Yeah, he's, he's the greatest gamer of all time. Uh, Action, I've been trying to pump him up a little bit more lately. Oh, he's very good. well known. Well, not very well known, but known as like the most hardworking Zerg from StarCraft One. He was like a, a B teamer that put in unbelievable hours. And it's paid off. He's here right now. Mm -hmm. We uh, are about to get this game ready here. Flash versus Action. Another Terran versus Zerg. Our first map is going to be Frost. Map number two, King Sejong Station. And finally, if we do go to map number three, Way Station. That is correct. Uh, you know, the both are on KT Rolster. So they have a lot of experience playing against each other. Yeah, certainly uh, good practice partners of each other. And, you know, if Kespa teammates playing against each other holds true, this match might not be the greatest we've ever seen. Well, you know, when you get two teammates playing against each other, you get a lot of meta games that uh, you don't actually see because they're actually, they've played against each other so much, they've shared each other's strategies, there's a lot of mind gaming stuff. Over here in the upper right. KT Roaster Flash. <laughs> and down here in the bottom left. KT Roaster Action. Alrighty. Let's see how this one goes. Cross spots on Frost. Should be uh, another long epic game yeah, here. Pretty big map. Flash definitely a, a macro player in TVZ. Uh, didn't it really look all that great in his GSL group the other day? He actually lost no. to Shine in a macro game, which That's not let that to run through your flash, head a little yeah. bit. Shine in a macro game. Actual macro upgrades and stuff. Like five bases and stuff like that. Creep spread, believe it or not. Wowzers. You wouldn't expect, but uh, Flash you know, I died to him. I, I do feel a little bit bad for Flash. I mean... Flash has got some big shoes to fill here in StarCraft mm -hmm. 2, and that's Flash's shoes from StarCraft Brood War. Which are basically clown shoes or something. Uh, they are so uh, they are so big. What is that, the woman that lived in the house that had all the kids, the house was a shoe? Old Mother Hubbard? Old Mother Hubbard, I believe. I think so. Did she have something in her cupboard? Probably. Yeah. I mean, why else would you have a cupboard? Someone tweeted us which... which uh, fairy tale that's from, but that, that shoe that the old lady lives in with all the kids, that's Flash's, what a Flash's shoes. That's a smaller foot. Yeah, that's his small foot. Yeah. His big club foot is an even bigger shoe. <laughs> <laughs> we have a command center first for Flash. Not uncommon at all, and totally fine to do here, especially uh, this is the more conservative route of command center first, yeah. putting this at the ramp, not on the low ground. A lot of Terrans have been just doing uh, Reaper expands, but every now and then you do <clears throat> see that uh, Command Center first, especially if it is a big map. This makes me think more of the flash I saw in Brood War. I mean, no interest in any that game anytime soon. Yeah. We'll see what he wants to tech to from here. Will he just go straight up to a factory? Uh, will he try to grab out a Reaper? It's a possibility. I'm thinking he's going to go straight to factory, though. A lot of mind games, of course, going on between teammates. All right. Um, that hatch is almost done here. We're going to have a little bit of downtime since neither player can really attack the yeah, other one. Yeah, very economic opening. Uh, I mean, action might do something <laughs> cheesy because this me. is a quick gas, but we'll see that when, it, when he decides what to spend it on. Well, Artosis. Yes. How's that game you've been playing on your DS going? Really, really well. What game is it called again? You keep Shin Megami Tensai 4. It's a hard name to remember. Yeah, it's it doesn't doesn't have a lot of stickiness to it. No. Um, it, now, what, what was what was the original Shin Megami Tensai? For? I have no idea. This is the first one I've ever played. Oh, really? But it's like here's it's so cool because like a big part of it takes place in uh, like a post-apocalyptic uh, 
spoiler alert, Tokyo. Um, <laughs> and it is actually a spoiler uh, if you haven't played the game, but it's uh, it's really really cool. Super, uh, super fun and super accurate. I think the. I wish there was a game like that of Soul. I would imagine how much I would enjoy playing like a post-apocalyptic, accurate RPG of Soul or I something. I always think about this when I'm like, uh, Grand Theft Auto, is there any racing game? I'm like, I want to do a racing game in Soul. You know, they have a racing game like Grand Theft Auto that the Koreans made that is accurate to Soul. What? It's in Korean, though. That's fine. Wait, yeah. is that on PC? Yeah, it's for PC. Wow, I would have thought they would not, it's not have allowed exactly, that. It's not exactly like... Uh, but I mean, you, you, like you steal, you steal cars and, and I, drive around. From what I was told, yeah. Oh, somebody Someone told me, me about that this is. like three years ago. Well, uh, I thought they were they were a little bit stricter with the ratings of games out here, though. Yeah, no, I don't think it's as as brutal as Grand Theft Auto, but like a similar type of game. Oh wow! In an actual accurate City of Soul. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Now look at this. He's actually getting very quick Overlord speed. So that's kind of interesting, right? Looks like he wants to scout right away, but I wonder what it is that he really wants to scout. Because Flash, I mean, you can scout with a slow Ling that he's going through Command Center, right? And, I mean, from there you just need to know, is he going for Mech or is he going for Bio? And he already has an Overlord in place where you could see that. But, I mean, it's okay. It, you know, Overlord speed is not a bad upgrade to get. It's just I'm a little bit surprised that he got it so early no, I have to agree with you. I, 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 that is a bit peculiar, right? Yeah. Uh, considering Flash is a guy, you don't, you really need to be as economical as possible in the order in which you're upgrading and you know producing. Mm -hmm. well, he's taking this third base. Uh, we do have a layer on the way. Now the Zerg can take a sweet time right now before uh, coming down here to try to uh, stop this. Uh, I think he's gonna have to back up with the Lings though. That's probably not enough to get a good surround, especially when the Hellions are more in the open like that. Now. Two more Hellions come down here to make a total of six. The creep has not quite yet been connected. Oh, now it is. There we go. And this is going to allow the Queens to circulate back and forth quite nicely. Well, uh, you know, the two Evos just did finish up, so he's a little bit behind on upgrades, but not too, too severe. Sending quite a few drones to this third base. Quite a few. Huh. Bit of a bold move here. Yeah, like um, I'm just. A, so yeah, because that's going to be a focal point for. Yeah, that's the, that's to get the over hardest there place to actually uh, defend correctly. We'll see though. I mean, he does have some lings out. He does have some queens. Uh, his overlord spread is actually quite nice. Look through the middle of the map, all the little red dots. I like this so far. This might be his uh, mode of thought. I mean, look at it like this: the starport's about to be connected to the uh, reactor there. Once the reactor's been done, being made at the factory. I suppose his uh, mode of thought is one that as long as he can see the drops coming, he will not lose to any harass. If he doesn't lose to any harass, he beats Flash in the long run. Yeah. Well, um, you know, that's cool. I like I like the style he's going about here. It's neat. Uh, good creep spread so far. Getting that quick bailing speed, just like we saw from Impact. Uh, you know, I would rate uh, action as a, a bit better than impact at the moment from the games that I've seen in yeah, StarCraft II. I, I think from. so. I think so. Uh, so, it could be a, a better fight when Flash comes across the map. And, and Flash, you know, you have to rate a little bit below Maru. So, these two should be of a, a closer skill level than that last match and uh, could be one of our better TVZs of the day. Well, let's see what exactly happens here. The creep is going to continue to be spread out. Action is really uh, getting close to that point in time where he's going to be able to max out. He's almost got all the drones he needs. Mm -hmm. And uh, from there, I mean, Zerg could just pump out a ton of units. Fourth base just now being acquired. And notice he took the fourth base down there instead of the opposite order of having the fourth base be the one farther out. I think this was a good judgment call here by Action. He mm -hmm. can keep the third base alive. Didn't take any damage at all so far. The fourth base is pretty far out of reach. so. There's a high chance that when Flash is pushing, he's going to be pushing towards the third instead of the fourth. Um, and as long as, <coughs> excuse me, as long as Flash has, uh, you know, or excuse me, long, as long as Action has the necessary defense, he should be fine. Yeah, uh, you know, he does have pretty good defense so far. If you look at this, Bailing Speed is just about to finish. His meters are going to pop out. He's got great creep spread. He even has some queens mixed in here. So yeah, I don't, I don't foresee him dying anytime soon. And he does have this fourth. So this fourth, of course. Going to be a, a point of contention in this game. 
All right, they're all gathering down here near the bottom. And I've got to say, I'm actually surprised he's going to engage on this angle here. But the Mutas can start to chase uh, these Medivacs. <clears throat> well, Flash goes immediately back as he does leave a Marine behind by accident and he's, he's going to be doing a split here with his army. So mm. there's going to be two points of attack, uh, which means Zerg has to be very careful to balance out his defense. Well, here we go. Flash going in towards his third base. Action way out of position, but he really wants to kill those Medivacs. He's trying to keep them in here with his uh, Mutas. Chase him down with the wings. Uh, he's not going to let this happen right now. In fact, he may be able to get one of these medivacs. Well, nice dropping off here by Flash. Trying to do as best he can with that situation. Meanwhile, pushing over here towards that third base. We don't see any defense here so far. That's right. He did have a few units he ran up, but they were not any match for that army. Actually leaving he's two killed. Marines behind there. Look how much creep he's actually cleared out. That was like a super effective way to clear creep, but he did lose three medevacs worth of units. Uh, and he may lose even more than that, Artos, because we got a lot more uh, mutas coming up here now. And I have to say, you know, he did kill the creep, but he's certainly losing a large amount of his army over here. Uh, as, you know, action is just able to continuously produce. That's right. He's doing a fantastic job at the moment, really pushing Flash back, even off creep here. And uh, you know what? Flash Flash has been pushed back completely. So yep. that means that Action can start to mine from his fourth base, try to get some more creep tumors back out, because that's definitely a, an important point here. Well, that creep is going to help him so much with the mobility there. Yeah, he has to regain uh, yeah. some control there. In he the doesn't push any more creep out. He's going to still lose this game. All right, the mutas are regrouping. By the way, we see a lot of even the best Zergs in the world not maintain that creep after yeah. it's initially killed off. It's not easy to do. That's when you're entering the macro mode. You're done making drones. You're not trying to defend from Hellions. It's a totally different beast. That's right. Uh, you know, you sometimes have to remake your queens and then get them out there because uh, rallying queens is not so easy uh, to, uh, you know, send them exactly where you need them. They're, right. You know, it's a lot of micro to actually spread your creep. Well, not micro, but... A lot of mechanics to do it, and at this point in the game, you're really running around heavily, like the, like we see action doing here, seeing what he can pick off. Can he find a piece of army to kill him? In fact, here we go. He is rolling forward. A bunch of uh, the Batemans actually connect with the Marauder there, and the Thor taking a lot of damage as well. He's now backing up and regrouping over here. Uh, I gotta say, Flash is making a pretty big push. We have uh, it looks like a small amount of that creep um, <clears throat> being reclaimed here. Yep, he's doing that with the Queens right now. 138, or actually no dead even supply for a second there. Uh, the fourth base is being taken here for Flash, which is going to put pressure on the Zerg to take a fifth. And on this map, taking a fifth, I mean, look at the other expansions. It's it's pretty awkward. Uh, there's no real easy place to just go and take. Uh, you take one close to these uh, current Zerg bases, very pushable for the Terran. You take one of the other mains at the upper left or the bottom right, it's going to get dropped. So uh, from here on out, Flash may want to try to stabilize Keep pressure in the center and slowly win Zerg in the economy game. Well, uh, you know, Flash continuing to rally out. Does have another Thor here. Really good to mix that in. Has uh, quite a few Hellbats as well. His 3-3 three, three is going to be finishing out pretty soon. And that's when it becomes very difficult for Zerg because, Yeah, action you know, may fall apart after that. Well, I, as we were talking about before, it's... You know, getting your Hive up in time to actually start 3-3 three, three after your 2-2 two, two almost never occurs. So he's just going to have to be down upgrades for a little bit, but almost looking for an engagement right before the 3-3 three, three is done, which I guess that would be nice, but his army can't fight that right now. All right, he's pushing down now. And again, you can see Flash being very cautious here. This is the minimum number of units he needs mm -hmm. to actually get rid of that creep. Meanwhile, chasing the uh, army that would, would be trying to squash him from above. Oh, but I see if you can't sandwich some of these units up here. This is actually a huge win here for Terran. That is going to be a big game changer yeah. because he does not have the bailings to come in from multiple angles right now, which means the um, the push moving southward here from Flash is going to be incredibly strong. He may, oh no, he is going to go down the center. I thought he was going to go around to the left side for a second. Looks like we do have a counterattack with these mutas, but does this really matter since Flash is moving in with his entire army towards this third base? Yeah, the Zerg would have wanted him to turn around. He does have a good number of Banelings, though. Well, here we go. It looks like he's going to try to clear this out with those Banelings. Indeed, a lot of Marauders mixing. He's going to be careful what he connects on. And actually, the Banelings do kind of okay, but still too much Terran left over. GG.
Flash wins game number one. Uh, nicely done. Yeah, he, pretty pretty convincingly. Like action yeah. held on reasonably well, but Flash got his fourth base out pretty quickly. It was four base versus four base, and in that situation, you don't necessarily have to kill the fourth. You can just keep on battling the army and get cost. Zerg efficiency. always have to be one expansion ahead if they're not yeah. um, ahead. I mean, you can be even for a little bit. Yeah, but for you, a little bit. But after a while, it, it's it's kind of cool because it does function the same way the Zerg was uh, created in the mind of Blizzard in the mm. story. But yeah, you have to keep. You know, consuming the map, sucking up all the resources. And from there, when it was four base versus four base, especially when Flash was able to hit that t uh, that northern attack with the Banelings, yeah, yeah. he got that stuck up there. I mean, from there, it's very straightforward. The Mutas came back to the expansion to try to get the Terran army to turn around. But he doesn't have to turn around. He doesn't even need to mine from those for the mm. time being. He can go in there and kill all the bases, and it's basically GG. I wonder if uh, Action overcommitted chasing those three medevacs in the bottom left, because he lost, like, 30 creep tumors during that time, and... Uh, you yeah. know, I've never said something quite like that before, but maybe defending his creep would have been a bit better because, you know, with the creep, of course, he could have run down to his fourth base I, quickly to defend it if those three dropships came I back. I think uh, in a lot of actions, practice games, he may have uh, had a lot of success engaging the medevacs directly because mm -hmm. early on... Killing units is good. That's like 30 yeah, supply of units over there. Exactly, and I think if he gets him in the right spot, we've seen a lot of Terrans boost on the way into the Zerg base. Mm -hmm. Flash actually boosts mostly on the way out. He moves forward with his army, mm -hmm. and when he does the pickup, the moment that he actually sees uh, an attack there. <laughs> Did we pick that up on audio? I don't know. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> you'll never know. Uh, no, uh, when you see uh, an attack like that, um, the, uh, you want to get the medevacs to boost out so they can get away safely. Thanks for blowing my cover, You Jesus. are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> All right. So... All right, uh, we are going to go to <laughs> game number two. It's going to be on King Sejong Station. Should be a lot of fun. It should be. Let's go.